Well, hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Live with Naz. An hour of laughter and encouragement coming to you from beautiful California. <laughs> all right, not all the studio lights were on, but now they are. And let's see who is joining us here. First of all, let's invite our friends from the other side. Come on, people. People on the other side. All right, going once, going twice, three times. Okay, and share, and boom. We are on, on this Friday. Friday night, people. So good to be with you guys. Hello, Sarah Voth. How are you? From Washington State. Come on, everyone. Help people from the other. Jennifer Dirks, how are you? <laughs> Hello, Jennifer. Hello, who else? Rita, 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 Rita. We missed you. Welcome back, Rita. Chris Martell from Michigan. Hello. It's been a while. Good to see you again, Chris. Let's see who are five people. And it should hit 60 or 70 in one minute or two. So let's see who else will be joining us. Thank God it's funny. Yes. It'll be funny tonight. Friday night. Hope you guys are having a great day. How was your day, Naz? My day was... Uh, uh, let me tell you how was my day. I had a, I had a, I had a Zoom call with a gentleman I'm, I'm thinking of hiring with, to work with me and as well and also i drove to los angeles to meet with um, a director at a studio for a virtual reality project and it took about an hour and a half john joined me my son so it was a great time but then it took me two hours and 45 minutes to get home 58 miles two hours 45 minutes that's how was my day I spend it in the vehicle. Becky Ottenberry, how are you? But thank you for asking. I'm no, I'm okay. I listened to probably two books. I mean chapters of books. And it was really, really good. It's good beneficial time. It's usually time to to be parked and take a nap and relax and then get up, drive, catch up with the car that went three feet ahead of me, park the car. Take another nap, talk to friends, wake up, look, the car went two feet in front of me. I put it on drive, go two feet, turn the car off, take another nap, and drive. That's how it was, driving in L.A. Okay, okay. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Becky Ottenberry, I found a job. Wow, good news, friends, I found a job. All right, Chris, congratulations. What kind of job did you get? Being sassy since you were trying to tell me not to send the goodbye, the goodie box. Yeah, don't send me a goodie box. I'm so goody goody. I should be sending you guys boxes. Haven't you learned not to argue with a woman's pro prerogative? Yeah, trust me. I'm married 26 years. I know. It's on its way. Thank you. You didn't have to do that. Wow. Ah. I'm not going to share with you what my dog ate the night before <laughs> and bit and broke and then Hello, 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 beautiful people. I come from the... Hello, Michael Ramirez. Christmas, after being unemployed for two months, I now work at a gas station. My people. All right, Chris. Go for it. Uh, terrific. Sorry. No, no. Traffic. Not terrific. Traffic. Because there's a lot of complaining. Oh, about the gas? Yeah, $7 here. Good evening from South Corona. What? Bobby Miller, welcome. Welcome to the show. We missed you yesterday. All right, not much. All right, no complaint. I'm a cashier at a gas station. That's awesome. That's good. Tammy, Tammy Purcell, how are you, Tammy? Hi, it was so awesome to see you in... Lenore City at our church, Patriot. Yes, baby. Love that church. Tammy. Tammy is... Tammy has a horse ranch, people. She has a horse ranch in 
Knoxville, Tennessee, the North City. So if you're ever in the area and you need an Airbnb, a place to stay, get a hold of Tammy. Uh, she's a fellow believer. Naz, next time don't drive ahead of the <laughs> slow car. <laughs> arguing with a woman is like arguing with your echo. Yeah, but sometimes my echo does not <laughs> answer back. Just I turn my face and it stops. Being sassy. <laughs> yep, don't argue with Jennifer. Okay, I won't. I sat on the 91 parking lot coming home from Anaheim today. Yep. Hey, Naz from Crazy Travels, Wisconsin. Welcome. Suzanne is back from Pittsburgh. What you going to do with all that junk? All that junk inside your trunk. <laughs> all right. We'll get to that in a minute. Hello. Oh, June Coulson. Funny lady. I finally, guys, got to meet June. What a sweetheart. What a great story she has. And uh, it was so good to meet comedians that I've heard of, never met because... Every time they did the CCA, I was either in Europe or doing shows or COVID. So it's so good to meet you, June. Very funny lady. All right, let's see who else is joining us. I had one customer get mad because our policy is you have to show ID if you want to buy cigarettes or alcoholic beverages. He actually tried to give me. You know, when someone argues about showing their ID, guess what? They're underage. You ask me for my ID, I'll show it. I'm like, <laughs> you think I'm under 21? I love you. Can you come around the counter and give me a hug? Don't worry, I used to work where you were. Okay. Uh, buy cigarettes. <laughs> yes, Patriot Church. Yes, called Red Haven Ranch. If you guys in Knoxville, Tennessee or nearby. Red Haven Ranch. All right, this is why I don't believe that L.A. has a freeway or interstate, whatever you want to call it, because it might as well be a parking lot. It was today, two and a half hours. Listen, my beloved friends, uh, last night I asked you the question, and if you weren't with us, you have a chance to answer right now. You can throw your answers. What are some bad names for a garage sale? What are some bad names for a garage sale? At number 20, my junk is now your junk sale. Number 19, divorce discount sale. Number 18, my trash is your treasure. Number 17, commitment issues sale. Number 16, midlife crisis sale. At number 15, where skinny clothes go to die. Number 14, inflation clearance. Number 13, junk emporium. Number 12, what are some bad names for a garage sale? Gently worn face mask sale. At number 11, Hoarders Unlimited. All right, here's the top 10. What are some bad names for a garage sale? Skid Row special, uh, Specials. Skid Row Specials. At number 9, Uncle Bill finally died. Buy his stuff. Number 18, Broken Hopes and Dreams sale. At number seven, vanity, vanity, all is vanity. At number six, tar ghetto. Number five, we're still some bad names for a garage sale. At number five, recycled Amazon drunk purchases. At number four, infomercials and insomnia bankruptcy sale. At number three, trash treasure hunt. At number two, smells better than Goodwill. <laughs> At number one, worst name, for a garage sale. Help me park my car in my garage. Alrighty. We got Sarah and Suzanne. <laughs> that was good. Oscar the Grouch's house. Right. Let's see. The guy wasn't underage. He was just being a jerk. Junkaras. Oscar the Grouch's house. My family throw out. Junk we got from another garage sale that we didn't actually need. Right. I already have a garage. <laughs> Those were some funny answers last night. Thank you. You had few here. Okay. Tomorrow is Saturday. Sunday is Father's Day, people. Father's Day. And give me some. Let's see. I want to know what not to get dad for Father's Day. <laughs> okay. Let's see what 
not to get that for Father's Day. Okay. You can start. Let's bend it. What not to get that for Father's Day? Let's see. Tyranny of bondage to stuff. <laughs> okay. Stuff that used to be the neighbors. Don't get him another tie, right? A colonoscopy. Don't get that a colonoscopy. A tour of the old folks' home. <laughs> Handcuffs. Mr. Beer Kit. <laughs> Do they have a Mr. Beer Kit? A feminist wife. <laughs> okay. What not to get dad for father? Those are my glasses. Wow. I'm wearing the glasses that they have in the picture. I have a hammer like that. I don't have a tie. That's a really old tie. I'm nuts and I brush things off. So that's cool. I, this is my picture. Okay, let's see. What do we got? A toupee. Don't get that a toupee. Remember when we used to people, thank God for hair pieces. Not hair pieces. <laughs> thank God for hair implants. Remember when you used 20 years ago when people had toupees and they're trying to be serious with you and like, <coughs> and try, they're trying to hide the fact. I'm like, yeah, right, I believe you. Yeah, yeah, you're telling me the truth. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yes, you're... You're, very, you're an open book. I know you are. You're transparent, but that thing on top is like <laughs> throwing you off. Just <laughs> ruining your transparency for me. <laughs> an expired ticket to the Super Bowl. Dentures. Diabetes <laughs> cereal. <laughs> A coffin. <laughs> oh, Michael. Barbecue stuff again. Yep, Mr. Birkett is a real parent. What do you need a beer kit? What are you gonna? You gonna? <laughs> are you gonna brew your own beer in in Wisconsin? You have a brewery and you need the kit for it, Matthew. A funeral planning session. Good evening, Alan Goodwin. How are you? You have a second feed on Facebook open. What? No chat stream. A second feed. Oh, wait a minute. 447, 448. Huh. Let's look at that. No, that's 447. That's yesterday. Let's look at my... Somebody is feeding on my Facebook. Okay, here we go. Let's see. <laughs> Thank you, Alan. appreciate it. Speedos. Don't get your father Speedos for Father's Day. Uh huh. 447. 448, 447. I don't see a second feed. Huh. Maybe you're opening the two, the personal, and. Wow, today 14 people only. Normally we have 70 to 95, 100. 14. All right, it's Friday. Maybe Friday is not a good day too. But an expired ticket to the Super Bowl, Speedos, joint burial plot, <laughs> a vasectomy, <laughs> a walker, stuff from a garage sale, spray tan, <laughs> William Shatner's Star Trek toupee, oh yes, Bill Gaither's hair, Richard Simmons' workout collection, where do you get those? In a garage sale? Another wife, don't get him another wife. A tombstone uh, epit what epitaph? Epitaph, epitaph. What is epitaph? Spray on hair. Remember that spray on hair. <laughs> A hot date. Hey, hope you're doing well. Depends. That's right. You don't get him depends unless he needs it, Tammy. Fake muscles. <laughs> I remember. Oh, that's what you were. Like the one I'm wearing now? No, I'm just kidding. Hello, Lily Navas. Mustache Moose. 
Lily, what not to get dad for Father's Day? Stadium pal, Kath. <laughs> high, high water. What? I'm getting ideas. High water pants. Those are called, uh, what do you call it? Waiters, right? Waiters. See? More American knives than you, Bobby Miller. Divorce papers. Snore steps. <laughs> that's for mom. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Empty beer cans. A casket. <laughs> of course, you get a discount from your work, Lily, right? Just rock and roll fantasy camp. Therapy sessions. Alrighty. Comedian fantasy camp. Low fat ice cream. Couples counseling. Mullet to pay. Fat lip. Given. Suspenders. That's right. A DVD copy of. Gipero starring Drew Carey. Gipero. Your report card. Hello, Rosetti. Quality time at the antique store. Life alert button in case he falls and can't get up. A new matchbox car. Let's see here. A tattoo that says mother. Squatty potty. <laughs> Hey, Squatty Potty. What is a Squatty Potty? I, I'm sorry. I really don't know. Squatty Potty. I need to see it, huh? Let's see. What is... Oh. Squatty Potty. Squatty Potty. Okay. Ew. Oh, okay. Squatty Potty official site. That's, oh, okay. If he's short, right? <laughs> Squatty party. Stuffed shark of eBay. Advice, depends, a to-do list, more yard work, dentures. Nez, would you use pedicure if given to you? No. Honey, do list, right. A medi pedi. <laughs> A toupee that sheds. <laughs> okay. Where's our friend the clown? <laughs> A toupee that sheds. That's funny. Anything vegan, you don't want to get it. A free chest hair waxing treatment. <laughs> Elevator shoes. Air freshener for the bathroom special time. A lawnmower. Foot spray. <laughs> a card holder cut out of Tom Cruise so he can feel tall for once. Oh, that's right. <laughs> old pumpkin spice. Oh, remember Old Spice? <laughs> the perfume? No, you don't remember it. That was before your days, people. My dad used to use it. Old Spice. <laughs> Okay, let me change the question on you. Oh, wait, we forgot to hydrate and share. If you're with us, every 15 minutes, we hydrate and we share. We used to, two years ago, two and a half years ago, when COVID started in March, we used to, what do you call it? Sanitize and share, but then we changed it to water because not it's not like we used to drink the sanitizer, but our hands started cracking from all the alcohol and the dryness. So right now we hydrate and share in beautiful California where we have a drought. Dodgers tickets. The, coming from a guy in San Francisco who's a Giants fan, what not to get your dad Dodgers tickets. Yes, I still hydrate. Do we still hydrate? Yes. Keep hydrating even if the governor said no. It's your right as an American. 
And no one should tell you not to hydrate, sir. All right, pine. What are we going to get? Pine so, so he can clean up after himself, okay? They still make all spice. They do? A facial. Get dead a facial. Argyle sucks. <laughs> What's an argyle? You guys are speaking too many slang there. What's an argyle sucks? Let's look it up. The get him allergies. Argyle sucks. Okay, so we know what a squatty potty. <laughs> now we need argyle sucks. Argyle sucks. Argyle sucks. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Those striped. Yes, yes. Yes, I won't get him that. Well, my dad passed away in 1995 at age 66. So, he never wore Argyle socks. He never wore jeans. I bought him his first pair of jeans and tennis shoes ever when he came to the U.S. My dad used to wear suits and ties every time, everywhere. His work, suits and ties. You know, I've never seen him casual, just maybe dressy pants and dressy shirt. When he came to Ohio, first time, I made him wear jeans and tennis shoes. It was, a, it was like, I can't wear that. It's like, you're an American now. You got to wear it. <laughs> and he did. And then a month later, my mom flies into the U.S. So a month after him. So she comes to Detroit, looks at my dad. She goes, what are you doing? What are you wearing? He's like, welcome to America. <laughs> To this day, my mom never wore jeans, never wore tennis shoes. Never. To this day. She's 85. Never. But, so, here's uh, Ice-T. You're a next-door neighbor into Mexican, Mexican Canyon Cheers, Hydrate, and Share. What? <laughs> Back, a clown wig. <laughs> Mosquito steel traps. What not to get your dad? 49ers season tickets. Here we go. <laughs> Disco dancing lesson. A bouncy house. Yeah, if I want to get him a hip replacement with it. A bouncy house. Season tickets to all Detroit Lions football games. He's a Philadelphia Eagles fan. He hates the Lions, <laughs> okay? Never get him that. A finger paint picture made from dad's newly painted Porsche. Played polyester slacks that come up to his armpits. I know. And when he wants to see, he unzip the pants and look. A dictionary. Deodorant. Home game. A new paint job for his car, courtesy of his grandkids. Sounds like your dad was a serious guy. Nope. My dad never told jokes, but he laughed at everything. He just laughed a lot. So... A tattoo? News that the mother-in-law is moving in? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. you don't want to get him that. Oh. Hello, Debbie. Let's see. Don't get him a test to prove he's the father. <laughs> that was Viking season tickets. Celtics tickets. Old guy's stretchy pants. Whoopee cushion. And skinny jeans. <laughs> don't get him sn skinny jeans or snuggies. <laughs> So your dad only looked serious. That's funny. Yeah, he looked serious, but he was hearing aids. Right. Okay, let me change the question on you people. Today, let's keep the theme of Father's Day. Okay, people, what is things dad said that didn't make sense? You know, every dad said thing. Things dad said that did not make sense. Okay. Things dad said that did not make sense. Uh, 
I'll give you something to cry about, right? Mind your mother. <laughs> this is going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt you. That's right. Oh, man. This is going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt you. Her hunting club membership close to game warden station. <laughs> Dentures. Viking Super Bowl video. <laughs> That's right. Because <laughs> a visit to the more Big Show. <laughs> a cane. A root canal. Okay. You look like the milkman. <laughs> I wouldn't know, Naz. I've never listened to him. Okay. He's still around. Mr. Pat, your daughter never listened to you. Are we there yet? Right. Do I need to get the belt out? That's right. If you can't remember something, son, then just forget it. See, my mom was a disciplinary. She didn't, you know, you know, this whole like wait till your father gets home. Nah, she didn't wait. We're like, mom, mom, wait till my father gets home and then let him punish me. Nope. I'll take care of it. She was self-sufficient. <laughs> yeah, dad never, never, never punished us as mama. And if she can do it still today, she would do it. Uh-oh, she's watching. I know she's watching the show. <laughs> if you can't remember something, son, then forget it. I'm with Sarah. <laughs> Break a leg. It'll stop hurting as soon as the pain goes away. <laughs> like the, Don't eat yellow snow, right? Oh, yeah, no. Grace, Grace, welcome, Ranger. Like, I hate onions while eating our carefully bought onion rings. <laughs> I walk to school uphill both ways, right? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Pulling your pants up. Don't worry, Naz, my dad already knows about it. Okay. Ship, ship. Yep. That's mama. Hello, Christine Reeves. Welcome back. We're getting our friends back. Hello, Grace and Christine. My dad never teach me about birds and bees. Yeah, I know. My dad. Did my parents teach me about the bees and the birds? No. Did he? No, I don't think so. Oh, the bees and the birds. I always wear a feather boa. I always be careful of people with feather boa and yellow and black outfits. That's what I always... He said, stay away from people with feather boa. <laughs> and then <laughs> people who wear black and yellow, stay away from them. They can sting you. So stay away from those people. That's what he told me. <laughs> it's just scratch. That explains a lot. <laughs> what? Oh, to Michael Ramirez. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's still single. No, I'm just kidding. I can't really repeat some of the stuff my dad said that didn't make sense because it's not G-rated. Do you think money grows on trees? Yep. You think I'm made of money, right? Eat all your food. Children are starving. Yep. Eat your dinner, there's starving kids in Africa, right? My mom used to say that. And, uh, so I stopped our cable subscription to Discovery and, uh, you know, channel. That's where she was getting her information from Discovery Channel. How do you know kids are starving in Africa, mother? I saw it on TV. Okay, we're not watching TV anymore. My dad used to, this is honestly, my dad used to say, like, let's say I don't like okra. I don't like okra. So when mom cooks okra, he goes, what if you go to a university and that's all they have is okra? What are you going to do? I'm like, I doubt it, Dad, but I get your point. Spicy food puts hair on your chest. <laughs> Do I look like I own the electric company, right? You make a better door than you do a window. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your dad was into construction, June. You make a better door than you do a window. <laughs> okay? That didn't make sense. My dad will always get impatient when he wants 
to leave, but will take his sweet time when someone else needs to be somewhere, okay? Money does not fall from trees. Don't look at me with those eyes, or how else are you going to look at him? Happy wife, happy life, right? Go to your room is not, is not a punishment now, no. I don't want my kids to go to their room now. Like, that's what they want. They want to stay in the room. Of course, you're my favorite child. Just look. Just like I told the rest of your siblings, right? Clean your room. But that, but then he leaves his stuff all over the place, right? Nine bills, time to hydrate, share, and share. Oh, it's nine o'clock. Hydrate and share, people. Come on. Guys, June still has a, a podcast, I think, here and Michelle Vin, if I'm correct. L June, let us know what time it is so people can watch it. Call you by your full name when he's mad, right? If you don't eat it hot at dinner, you'll be eating it cold at breakfast. Yep, you'll eat it and you'll like it, right? If everyone else jump off a bridge, would you? I go, Dad, we live in Kuwait. There's no bridges. Uh, I would just say, well, then I'll give my uneaten food to them since they're starving. Right. If you're blocked his view, we were doors, not windows. Oh, I see. No, <laughs> I get it. My my should be ex. <laughs> Hydrate and share, right? Better door than window, blocking TV. Oh, Naz, you say this if someone is sitting in front of you blocking your view of the TV. Or, oh, I get it. Okay, put some shoes on. <laughs> you made your bed, now you lay in it. My dad would blow his nose and yell, shrimp boats are coming, they're sitting there sail. <laughs> Wipe that smile off your face, right? Yes, it's on the po an old podcast platform, new episodes every Thursday, people. June Colson and Michelle Van Dusen. Mich you know Michelle, our friend from Tulsa. She's here a lot of times. It's called Laugh Support. June is very funny. Michelle is funny. And they're both very, very funny. So they're funny, funny, funny on the show. So close the door. Were you born in a barn like Jesus? <laughs> well, a half-witted son is better than none. Oh, no. <laughs> Call social services, Chris. That's really hurtful. Well, a <laughs> half-witted son is better than none. Oh, hey, Nez, today is my mom's birthday, so please let's wish her a happy birthday. Okay, you guys know Becky Wolf. Is she watching? Is she with us? Wipe that smirk off your face. Digging for gold while cleaning inside me. <laughs> You're not wearing that, are you? If you're not here by 10, light not going to be on for you. If you're not here by 10 tonight, we're not going to be on for you. Your eyes are gonna roll back in your head. <laughs> Wear an undershirt when it's 90 degrees outside. One shirt should be plenty. <laughs> right? Do I know you? Oh, no. All right. Uh-oh. What's going on? Something froze. Uh-oh. Hello? Oh, here we go. Birthday blessing, Becky. Happy birthday. Oh, is she here? Happy birthday, Becky. I'll try to find her nails. Hang on. We're hanging. All right. Becky both is very funny. She's the mother of Sarah. If you ain't got nothing good to say about someone, don't say anything. <laughs> Be home before the street lights are out. <laughs> right. Okay, is Becky Volt here? Going once. Don't swallow your gum or you'll toot bubbles. <laughs> okay, I found my mom and she's listening. Becky Volt, welcome. Happy birthday. Let's see. Happy birthday! 
Let's do it again for you. Happy birthday! One more time. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Becky. I hope they buy you a, an iPad or another computer so you can join us every night. I'm turning off for the night. I'll see you all next time. Well, hopefully, we'll see you guys Monday, God willing. All right. What did I say? Becky Vols. Yeah. Becky Vols. Did you hear about the world's largest pickle? It's really a dill. Are we doing that joke? We'll do that in a little bit if you guys. Why? Because I said so. That's why. <laughs> because I said so. That's why. All right. I'm here. Do what I said and no ifs and or buts about it, right? I'm turning, okay, happy birthday, Becky, 65 times. All right, happy birthday, dear Becky. Happy birthday, yes. Oh, no, they're coming for you when police sirens can be heard. All right, good night, Chris. You live when I would get injured. Okay, right now. Let's see, it is time for the Guinness Book of World Record. Guinness Book, we don't have a lot of people tonight. Huh, interesting, on Fridays. Maybe we should call it off on Fridays. We don't know. We'll do our best to keep on every night when we can. Doctor, doctor, come real fast. I don't know how long she'll last. <laughs> oh. You'll live, right, when you get injured. Do what I say, not what I do, right? Okay, it is Guinness Book of Ford Record. You're welcome. Thank you. Thunder, the angels are bowling in heaven. Don't spend it all in one place. Okay, today is National Cherry Tart Day. Did you know that? The horror I need laughter from. <laughs> ah. Uh. National Cherry Tart Day. Okay, here's from the Guinness Book of World Record. The Galileo Fornacero Bakery in Pandova, Italy, made a fruit tart mm, measuring how long it was. It's the longest cherry tart in the world, according to the Guinness Book of World Record. It was one foot wide. And they made it on May 1999. How many feet, how long was it? How many feet long? Over a thousand, under 5,000. Over a thousand, under 5,000. You know the game. You have three guesses. Don't look it up. Don't Google it. Just give us your best three guesses. And you win this beautiful toilet paper. All right. Here you go. Go for it. I need a couple of sherry tarts. Yes, I don't know. That was an issue. Don't take any wooden nickels. <laughs> what was your dad? Uh, Abraham Lincoln? Lily, I dream I copy you and we win. Okay, don't. <laughs> Sabbath service on TV tonight is honoring Juneteenth. Turned it off. What? <laughs> Sabbath service on TV is honoring Juneteenth. I turned it off. I think this is just a slow Friday and a lot of schools are out or almost. Yep, summertime. All right, let's see. Oh, I need a couple. 3,000, 4,000, and 4,800 for Rita. Becky said 1750, 2750, and 3750. Okay, Jennifer, 3333, 2579, and 3957. Sarah, 1555, 35, 55, and 45, 55. Matthew, Dirks, 1199, 3200, and 2022. Suzanne, 1201, 2305, and 4800. Grace, 1235, 3268, and uh, let's see, 4465. Tammy, 4500. 3800 and 2700. All right, Sarah, 4278, 1957, and 2846. Hello, Catherine. Let's see who else is going to guess. 
Those last numbers were my mom's. Oh, okay. 4278 from Becky, 1957. Yes, because Sarah already gave us 155.35. Okay, who else is coming? Catherine, 1234, 3456, and 4765. Debbie, 33, 37, 3287, and 3275. Lily, 1560, 3300, and 2560. Okay, let's see. Good numbers. <laughs> Salt. Hello, Catherine Masters. Okay. Did Michael Ramirez bet? Lily said 1560, Michael. 3300, Michael. And 2560, Michael. Let's see what numbers. Salt, salt, salt. Michael, 1560, 3300, 25, mm, interesting numbers. Okay, all right. Going once, going twice, and sold. Okay, the Galileo Fornacero Bakery made the longest start, and it measured 3,354 feet. It was Jennifer Dirks for a few minutes until until Debbie Malone came with 3337. Four numbers more, which made her closest to 3354. So Debbie Malone, you are the sole winner of this wonderful, beautiful toilet paper. Congratulations from Louisiana. All righty. So... Another winner. Oh, shoot. Michael, Bobby Miller said 35, 55 still, 25 now. See, he got sold before Bobby even. Good. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations, Debbie. Don't use all the TP in one place. I hope she uses it in one place. I hope so. Uh, okay. Uh, it is 9.30. I have one more question. Today also is National Flip-Flop Day. Did you know that? Today is National Flip-Flop Day. It's perfect for Dad's Day. Lolo, congrats. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, I don't know. I know why they call it flip-flop. Okay. Come on. Wait, there's something going on. Uh-uh, you're not doing this to me. I'm going to fix it, people. Hold on. Yep, I worked hard. I worked hard on coloring those shoes, flip-flops. So, give me a different name for flip-flops. Another name for flip-flops. Flip, flip what are you doing for Juneteenth? Uh, isn't that Father's Day? It's Father's Day. I'm speaking at a big church in Riverside. If you're in the area... Another name for flip flops. Another name for flop flips. I like that flop flips. Two herters, right? Zoris. Hi, Betty Hardy. Welcome. It's been a while. 
All right, two hurries, flop flips, I'm out. Guess I'll have to visit Debbie. <laughs> what am I doing for June? I'm speaking. Come see me at Elevate Life Church in Riverside on Sunday, June 19th, Father's Day. Two services, 9 and 11. All right. Jen can still borrow mine. <laughs> Uh, ship ship day okay here we go lazy footwear right mom guided missiles that's true Juneteenth is not father day it honors some really I didn't know that what is Juneteenth isn't that like the Texas day when slavery, they didn't know about it for a couple, couple years. June to, yeah, the end of slavery, it ended months before, but words didn't reach parts of Texas until June 19th. That's exactly right. Yeah, well, that's what Juneteenth is. And it happened to be on Father's Day. Heel thwackers. Swimwear, right, Lily? Lawsuit loafers. Oh, too broke to buy shoes, right. Toe floss. <laughs> deadly, man's deadly weapon, right. Rubbermaid. <laughs> I lost a toenail from a dip flop. <laughs> Weapons of mom destruction, that's good. Lost. Foot speedos. <laughs> that's true. All right, we forgot to hydrate and share. 9.15, hydrate and share. Hydrate and share, people. Clank, what? Shank class. Shank class. Chew toys for puppies, that's true. Another name for flip-flops. Okay, let's see. Another name for, what do you think? What should we call them? If they're not flip-flops, they're what? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Flip-flops used to be called something else, but now the old name isn't exactly what they want to call them anymore. Quick slippers, right. I'm blocking here. I, I'm blo I can't think. Of, oops, got pumped. Got pumped songs. Flip in your on your face. Thongs. Isn't that what they call them? So used to call them thongs. Yeah, that's what they used to call them long time ago. But then the thongs wear became, which is a bad idea. I love the lime green ones on the left. You can have them for a small fee. Convertible shoes. That's good, Rita. Convertible shoes. Okay. So, anybody doing any special for Father's Day, if your father's still around? My kids are, I don't know what they're doing on Sunday, but they told me not to plan anything, like I do. Uh, only for nimble toes. Sand stompers, right. So, when do you get here? She has been here some from the beginning of the show. Noisemakers. Extra feet. <laughs> picnic. That's what should we call a picnic. Or are you doing a picnic with your, for your husband or your pair? Working. Oh, Jennifer's working. Are you going to eat barbecue or something on Father's Day now? Maha loves barbecue places, so I don't know what they're going to do. 
We'll probably go to a restaurant and that's it. Annoying footwear. That's, I don't know what the... I already bought my own. I buy my own f gifts for my birthday and my father's day. I just go buy what I want. What You know, like something I really need. And I go, hey guys, thank you for my father's day gift. And they get mad. They go, we weren't planning on spending that much on you. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you don't have to. It's picnic church. What is a picnic church? Wishing all you guys in church a happy Father's Day. And we are talking about the disciple prayer. All right. Pine Chris Lake. All right. Picnic church. and Oh, the church picnic at... Uh, at Pine Crisp Lake. Have you ever gotten a Father's Day gift that you didn't like? Yes, of course. Let me see. You can tell when people don't. <laughs> they just do it like that. I'm like, oh, thanks for the thoughts. I got a... Sh no, for Christmas, I got a shaving kit. Those fancy shaving with the brush and the lotion and the... The blades that used to cut my father's face every time he used them, and I'm not about to use them. But it was a nice gift, but I I haven't used it. Sarah, he's going to eat super pig. Oh, wait, Delilah did. Yep. Night, Rita. Thank you so much. Money, that sounds like the best kind of gift for Father's Day. <laughs> yeah, but it's always dad's money, you know. <laughs> All right. Macaroni art. Tomorrow is my mom's birthday, so we're going to go to my ma my brother's house where she is at this time and celebrate, spend the day with her, cater food there, or like bring food because she doesn't go out. I don't know why. So mom, if you're listening, we're going to be there tomorrow. All right. Carol's coming home tonight. Yesterday, she came home safe around midnight from Mexico. Thank you so much for your prayers. Really interesting, and speaking of prayers, I'm open to any prayers you have. I have to give you the... If you have any special prayers you need. So... Yeah, if you have any prayers. So thank you for your prayers. Carol's back home safe. She's feeling good. Didn't get sick. Didn't get all this Mexico water stuff. She didn't have a problem. So so good to have her back. She'll be home tonight. So I get to see her. It's been a while. All right. Same as always. We're still praying for Matthew and Jennifer and Em's living situation. Still remind me of doorbells. Can't help it. I <laughs> know. Okay, thank you, Sarah. Good night, Rita. Macaroni art. Did Carol have fun in Mexico? We'll find out. I think she did. She went to Tulum, T-U-L-U-N, and she goes, the hotel, the resort was, eh, the water has a lot of seaweed, and uh, it wasn't like, well, she thinks, you know, that's what happens. You're young, you go to travel with mom and dad, and mom and dad always stay at nice places because the client who hires me puts us in very nice hotels. When we're, when we're on vacation, I have a lot of points that I use for nice hotels. So they think when they go on their own on vacation, they're like, oh, this is a horrible place. I'm like, okay, that's where I stayed when I was your age. I didn't even have to. I didn't take a vacation when I was 21. I did not. I worked three jobs, seven days a week. So I didn't feel bad when she said, oh, this hotel is not nice. I'm like, <laughs> welcome to the real world, baby. Jennifer, we're praying for you guys again. Alan, happy Father's Day to those of you so blessed. Enjoy a wonderful weekend. Oh, you're so kind, Alan. See you by streaming Sunday Nance until Monday night. Yes, I think they're going to stream the service. So if you want to watch it, it Elevate Life Church in Riverside. Elevate Life Church at 9 and 11. 9 and 11. I'm going to be giving a message on Father's Day. I'll start with comedy like usual, but then end with a message. 
All right, I just want to remind you guys, we do have a very, a good, good, good father in heaven. And if you didn't have a real father or your father was absent or your father was uh, abusive or something, I want you to know there's a heavenly father that loves you and cares about you. He's ready to give you wisdom. He's ready to give you peace. And some people say, I don't believe that. I don't feel that. I don't think that. Listen, have you ever asked him? Have you ever asked him? Have you ever said, Abba Father, help me. Abba Father, I need wisdom. Abba Father, I need peace. He's our Father. He adopted us. If you're a child of God, if you put your faith and trust in Jesus, you belong to Him. You're His child. And Jesus said, He and the Father will come and dwell with you. He who has a son has a father. And it's just, he's a father. Trust me. I mean, I'm telling you from experience, 28 years of experience, he is a loving father. He hates sin. He will discipline you when he feels you're going way too far in the wrong thing. He can discipline you. He can bring you back. He, he will be there in your worst moment when no one else wants to be with you. God is there. Oh, yeah, yeah, Naz. No, no. If you say, yeah, 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 Naz, you have not experienced him. He is real and he is present with you. Just If you spend time with him, if you meditate on his word, if you don't treat him like a genie or an emergency 911, then you will be able to experience his presence as a father. You know, I can't go a, a day before without getting in the Word and talking to Him and just help me, give me wisdom, please. Provide for me. I'm short. I need the money. God, we need a house. God, we need a place to live. God, we need our kids to be healed. God, I need, I'm tired of feeling the way I'm feeling. I need your peace to, to just invigorate my life. I need wisdom with this decision. Lord, help my marriage, help my children, be with them, let them turn their life to you. You can ask that from your Father. And if things are according to His will, He will, he will do above and beyond what you can ask or imagine. You don't have to leave this show without a Father. If you don't have a Father, there's a Heavenly Father that loves you and cares about you. Amen. I love you guys. Thank you so much. You have a great weekend. You're spending it with your dad, your husband, your kids. Have a blessed, blessed weekend. We'll see you Monday, God willing. Amen, Debbie. He is real. God, I pray you've reconciled dads with their children. Amen. He literally gave us himself when he sent his son, Jesus. That's love. Amen. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Have